do you need a voltage stabilizer with an inverter AC? So before we begin, if you guys are new here and if you guys enjoy all the content that I create, do make sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon and select all to get notifications for my latest uploads. And do make sure to follow me on Instagram, I do post a lot of content over here. All the links are in the video description. Alright, so let us start. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So I get this question every day on my AC review videos. A lot of people are asking whether they should get a voltage stabilizer for their new inverter AC. Well, short answer is no, you do not need a voltage stabilizer with inverter ACs. So almost every reputed brand selling inverter ACs have protection built in. So this is for LG and you guys can see on the product page it says stabilizer free plus so you don't need a voltage stabilizer with, with lg acs and same goes for carrier stabilizer free operation daikin stabilizer inside so you don't need a stabilizer and this is for panasonic again you do not need a voltage stabilizer and even for mitsubishi they all have protection built in you do not need voltage stabilizer for inverter acs and if you are still in doubt you can just go to the brand website and check out the product page if the voltage surge protection is built in the brand will probably mention that there is no need of any voltage stabilizer with their products and coming to lg all their inverter acs have protection built in so you don't need a voltage stabilizer if you are purchasing lg and you guys can see I'm not using any voltage stabilizer with my inverter AC. The power cord is plugged in directly into the mains. No voltage stabilizer in between because it is not required. So this AC is about 4 years old. I think I got it installed in 2016, May of 2016. So this is the 5th summer for this AC. Not using any voltage stabilizer and so far in the 4 years of service we haven't had any issues with this AC and we do get occasional power fluctuations. And we also have power backup so this AC also runs on diesel generator whenever the main power goes off and that does happen quite frequently. So this is the latest model LG, it's got Wi-Fi and everything so it's a smart AC. And as you guys can see I don't have a voltage stabilizer hooked up to this because it is not required. Anyway if you want to watch a review of this AC the link is over here. Now do keep in mind guys if you have a non-inverter AC then yes you do need a voltage stabilizer. So on a non-inverter AC in case you have a sudden low voltage surge sometimes the compressor can get locked out because of the high refrigerant back pressure and that is not good for the compressor. So do keep in mind if you have a non-inverter AC then yes you do need a voltage stabilizer. If you have an inverter AC do check out the product web page if it says stabilizer free then no you do not need a voltage stabilizer. But I think generally for inverter ACs you do not need a voltage stabilizer the protection is already built in. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope I have been able to answer all your questions. So thank you for watching. Do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.